Hey, you world shakers. Just a quick uh, word here. Get my dumb finger out of the way and it'll help, huh? Uh, this is the new motor I purchased for uh, that little project with the uh, bench grinder arbor. I'm, uh, I got a different bench grinder that I am going to attach this to. Now look at the size of my hand compared to it. I want to pop it apart real quick. Let you guys see what it is, what we're going to be dealing with. Hopefully you'll have enough light down here when you sit down and do it. Uh, give me just a minute. Turn it upside down. It's a big, it's a, for its size, it's pretty meaty. Look how thick that thing is, the housings and everything. So look in there, you can see inside that. See how thick those, uh, uh, coils are and the, uh, and the iron pickups steel in that they're they're wrapped around I mean I don't know if this thing will focus that close but I mean man, this is gonna be a monster this thing's gonna put out some juice I'm not gonna modify it uh, at all uh, at first I'm just gonna go with it right out of the box yeah here's the magnets magnet set up for it they're pretty good i've checked them yeah look put, look how big them things are i mean a thumb's a pretty good item to go by i, I usually think yeah and not those are uh not solid they're um I can get a little closer they're uh made up of laminated steel and they're all individual. It's, I mean, let's see if that thing will even focus that deep. No, nope, I have to get a magnifying glass. But anyway, it's it's made up of the same, in the same stuff as that core is on a uh, stator. You know how they'll laminate that steel? Well, that's what they've done to this. And it's some pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good uh, magnets. I mean, I made, played with neodymium and... And these are a little bit better than uh, earth magnets. Uh, not quite neodymium, but uh, yeah, I think they'll do the job. <laughs> anyway, I kind of thought maybe some of you people might like to know what my next little project's going to be. What I'm going to be a monkeying with. Yeah. 12 poles. Yep. And it looks like how the magnets set up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. That ought to work out pretty good for a motor. Anyway, we'll see what it does as an alternator. It's a three-phase, you know, same as all the other one washing machines, it's a three-phase. All right, well, shake the world, make it yours. Famous last words. I think Custer had some. I'm not quite sure what they were, but I'm sure they were meaningful. Oh. Shake, them, shake them hard. Later, people.